What's up everyone? I'm going to tell you about our new project that I'm working on right now. It is a truss foot bridge. Here it is right here. Here are the sleepers. And there's the other one on the other side. It's 14 feet across. And it's good. those are the, the pieces of wood, the 6 by 6s that the bridge would fit on. And this is a good before and after shot because that right there is a island I dug out last summer with this, in this pond. And when this is all done, you'll be able to good, see what it's all going to look like at the end. And I'm going to be documenting the process of putting this together. This is my first bridge. A little nervous. I hope you like my hat. I'm only using it today because I can't seem to find mine. I think it's my mom. The straw hat. I feel like I look like a real southerner right now. All I need is a piece of straw out of my teeth. So, here we go. It's going to be a big project and I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm doing everything step by step. I'm going to make sure I don't brush this because I don't want to ruin it. Especially when you're doing that. And then no matter what. So what I've done so far is that I know I need four bottom cords for the base of the bridge. So I made those four 14 foot bottom cords. And now I'm making the slope cord, which I, is going to be the, the parts of the bridge that go slope up and so I slope up. And I need this thing, an angle, to get that right. And luckily in the book, the guy provides the basis for the, uh, the length slope part. So we're going to do this little by little each day. Before I know it, it'll be done. So this is a pretty important part. I think I got this right. I have to draw this line right here now because it's marked at the top. This has, sorry, this has to be three inches from here to there, from the wood to the edge. And this has to be 12 inches from this wood blade to the edge of the blade. That's supposed to give me this slope section cord. So now I've marked it. This is no longer, ignore this. this is the, that's that mark. And down here is this mark. Time to cut it. Now it's time to make the gussets, which is, this is a hand cut gusset, which I made. Here's the template. And that's gonna go right on top of the wood nest, and two of them will be on the insides of the bridge, and one will be on the outside of the bridge. And then, uh, now I gotta just cut everything, all the slope cords now, just cut them all, all the gussets. Now it's just a lot of cutting. So, so there you have it, all the gussets have been cut. So all the wood's been cut, and we've already started assembling the first truss. So there you see the carriage bolts holding that end to the bottom cord. You see one of the gusts is attached to the other side. We're going to put one on this side. These will be one of the two middle pieces of the bridge. And, uh, yep, there, and it goes across carriage bolts right there. So it's really coming together. You know, once all the things are set up properly, uh, things should work out. And now we're going to put all four of these together and connect the band joists on either end so they're all connected with each other. And that'll be the frame of the bridge done. So, here we go. So I made a big boo-boo. I forgot to measure one thing when putting these trusses together. So, I'm in the process of, yes, dismantling all this wood. I had to get more wood, and I'm gonna have to start all over again. Uh, I'll explain what I did wrong. The distance between here and here on all of these is all different. And when that happens, So, like when we were putting the trusses together, um, we, we, we put all like the trusses, laid them out on the sleepers, they were not even, and we realized that we had to start all over. But, I don't give up. I'm gonna do it right this time. You live and learn, right? So, the trusses are set. We've finally done it. The pieces are moving. The connectors are in place, which gives it extra stability. We got the posts up, ready for their railings. Now is gonna be the really fun part. Now we put on the decking.
So here we are, an update since the last video, which was a little while now. It's been kind of a crazy month building this thing. But here we are on the bridge. It is, the decking is on and the de uh, railing is underway. And as you can see, with the decking on, the truss is in place. You can now can walk to this island, which needs to be, you know, weeded out right now. Still, I'm still gonna finish the bridge first. And now you can walk across. It's looking really good. I'm really pleased with it. There's some minor adjustments I have to fix, uh, especially with a little bit of the decking. But here it is from the side. And there you go. So it's not quite done. We got a little bit of work to do. This side railing is actually going to be quite difficult because um, it's supposed to, you know, the railing is supposed to like flushly meet this and I don't know, I might have to put some putty in between so it doesn't like water, it doesn't ice, doesn't get in here and rot it away and stuff. So, got some figuring out to do with that. So there it is, the completed bridge. I have decided to call it Hannah's Bridge. I thought that'd be very appropriate. So here it is, the railings are completed. I pulled out the weeds on that islands and I sowed some grass and here it is but it's not a good bridge unless it has the approval but the approval of who so we will see if Hannah do you approve of your bridge Hannah come will Hannah walk on the bridge come on girl come on girl come let's go she said, I don't know. I don't know, Ben. It doesn't look very stable to me. Come. Let's go. Come on, girl. She, she walks on the bridge. What do you think, girl, of your bridge? She says, yeah, I like it. It's pretty good. Comes the ultimate test. Will the chicken cross the bridge? We're about to find out. I have my chicken, Waddy Bulger. Hold on, let me entice her with some bread. Come here, girl. Hey, come here. Will you cross the bridge? Bulger. <gasps> she steps on the bridge. She's unsure of the stability. She takes a couple of steps. She's like, this is okay. This is not bad. She's walking, checking it out. Checking my craftsmanship. She's like, I don't know. Looking back and forth, crossing. She's still walking. And she's completed the walk across the bridge. She's like, I don't know, man. So she earns the piece of bread. Or I mean, she crosses the bridge for bread. It has the chicken seal of approval.